is this an ac generator or a dc generator it's easy to see that we have a dc generator because of the presence of a split ring as you can see we have a ring that is split and that is a component that is used in a dc generator in an ac generator we instead have slip rings let's look at 9.1.2 briefly explain how an emf is generated in the coil when the coil is rotated by referring to the principle of electromagnetic induction faraday's law grade 11 emf is induced as a result of change of magnetic flux with the coil emf is induced as a result of the change of magnetic flux with the coil that is how emf is generated when the coil is rotated let's look at 9.1.3 draw a sketch graph of the output versus time for this generator show one complete circle uh, like i've already said we have a dc generator so the current should be in one direction it should not cross the x-axis if it is above the x-axis it shall stay there and if it is below the x-axis it shall stay there on the y-axis we have the potential difference on the x-axis we have the time in seconds and then now we just need to sketch our graph one circle so something like this right and then you get all your bucks for just doing that 9.2.1 uh, we have a tron thread ohm resistor that is connected to a dc voltage supply as shown in the diagram below the energy dissipated in the resistor in 10 seconds is 500 joules and then we are asked to define the term rms voltage of an ac source it is the potential difference which dissipates the same amount of energy as a dc potential difference it is the potential difference which dissipates the same amount of energy as a dc potential difference 9.2.2 calculate the maximum peak voltage of the ac source so let's go ahead and look at our information we have the resistance which is equals to 200 ohms we are given the energy which is 500 joules another thing we have is the time which is 10 seconds what are we looking for we're looking for the maximum voltage we're looking for v max well v max is equals to v r m s multiplied by square root of q so if we find v r m s we can find v max but how are we gonna find v r m s the average power is equals to vrms squared divided by the resistance we can find the average power because we have the energy and the time because we know that energy divided by time is the power the rate at which works done so this is equals to vrms squared divided by the resistance uh, the energy is 500 joules and the time is 10 seconds this will be equals to vrms squared divided by the resistance which is 200 so if we cross multiply and make vrms the subject of the formula we're going to get vrms squared being equals to 500 multiplied by 200 divided by 10 we need to take square root on both sides so if we go ahead and do that we're gonna have vrms being equals to 100 volts implying that uh, vmax will be equals to 100 multiplied by square root of 2 that is just 141.42 volts